My name is Juliana. I'm from Helsinki, Finland, and I graduated MJSB this year. Uh, and now I am in the Graduate School of Letters in Hokkaido University and I'm studying in the laboratory of Indian philosophy and study of religions. So right now my research is mainly about Japanese religions. My focus is on true Pure Land Buddhism, a Jodo Shinshu, and I am currently uh, researching about Renyo and Shinran and how they basically preach to the masses in the medieval era of Japan. My final project study was on uh, history and it was kind of connected to Honganji, which is kind of connected to what I'm doing now. So then I decided to go and uh, study this field in my graduate school. So I decided to go to MJSP because I always wanted to go to Japan. I really wanted to visit Japan at least at one point and I did consider doing like a one year exchange. But then I uh, had a Hokkaido University professor come to my old high school to give a small like uh, introduction to Hokkaido University and MJSP. And then I realized that four years in Japan would be much more interesting than just one year in Japan. And the fact that I could study really good Japanese in MJSP was a really big point for me. And I really wanted to try living in Japan for more than one year. So definitely that's a big reason why I chose MJSP for my bachelor's. Looking back on my years in MJSP, the most memorable thing was how much I grew as a person in MJSP because the first two years, especially the first year of being a university student was really hard because of the language. So it really took some time to really learn Japanese and to be able to communicate, to be able to take classes. But once I realized that I had really become much better at Japanese by living here and as a faculty third year student, I was able to take classes with Japanese people. I had this really big sense of success and this really big sense of achievement that yes, now I can speak w with ease in Japanese with the Japanese people and take the same classes they take in these faculties. So I would say that, you know, the first two years were definitely the hardest, but they were also really, really full of many successes. So that was the most memorable moment for me to know how much I have grown as a person during these four years. So I'm from Finland and in Finland we have snow but I was still very surprised at how much snow there is in Sapporo and I definitely think that Sapporo is a really easy city to live in and I really wanted to try many things when I have been living here especially for these past five years I have learned to know Sapporo a lot more as a city and actually Ever since I was a child, I had always wanted to try doing something like ballet. Ballet was such a nice dance that I really always had such a fascination for. So then I thought, why wouldn't I try to enjoy it in Sapporo? Because I have been living here for five years already. It has been so much fun. Uh, our teacher is super nice, um, the other ladies who are doing it with me are also super nice, they welcomed me right away and I must say I'm pretty much living my dream now because I get to do what I have always wanted to do in a really comfortable, really nice city. I have been doing Finnish cooking class online for around a year now and Japanese people have really enjoyed it doing it with me online so far and we can all enjoy making Finnish food together while also being safe in our own homes and we can also enjoy learning new foods together and it has been so much fun. Actually I have been really grateful that I get to teach Japanese people about Finnish food and culture 
and seeing so many people who are interested in my culture just makes me feel really happy as a Finnish person, to be honest. So from now on, I believe I would like to try and find a job here in Japan. I see myself staying here for at least a few more years, if not even, you know, a decade from now on, because I do feel like after studying Japanese religious history and Japanese philosophy, I can see myself staying here for a long time because now I understand how Japanese society really goes around. And I find myself wanting to go to PhD in the future, possibly. And I would also like to perhaps have a teaching job in Japan in the long run. So to everyone who is considering coming to MJSP to study, I really recommend that you take that leap of faith and come here because you can discover your Japan and you can discover who you really are. It might be difficult, but you can do it. Good luck! So hello everybody, I'm Fernando, I'm from Brazil, I'm currently studying at the Public Policy School at Hokkaido University and I'm going to talk about my experience at the Modern Japanese Studies program. So um, the Public Policy School at Hokkaido University is one of the new innovative uh, professional degree programs that was built in Japan in the past six years and we got to study a lot about several aspects of uh, public policy in Japan. So my major is international public policy, so I discuss public policy in Japan, public policy in other countries and try to get a comparison between them. Uh, it made more sense for me to go for the international program because I mean I'm a foreigner, I'm in Japan and it is a unique possibility that I have to talk about the differences between Japan and my own country but in a more academic way. So recently we have been uh, taking a lot of classes online, so I decided to just come to a relaxing cafe to, to study. And in Sapporo we have plenty of, co of cafes that have quite a good ambience to study. And this made me very happy because I can drink coffee and study at the same time. This is my friend James, and we were in the same class in MJSP. Today we decided to come here and discuss stuff about our papers and check up on each other. Um, it was basically because I came to Japan and I wanted to be in Japan and I had no idea what I was going to do for further research but I wanted to come to Japan and I wanted to have education in Japan so it kind of made sense. I am really interested in political science so I thought that MJSP would be a unique opportunity for me to enhance my skills in Japanese, enhance my skills in English and also learn about my field of research. I have pretty, I have very good memories. Um, made a lot of friends. I met a lot of people. I actually went well in research. Uh, submitted a paper on Japanese politics. That was something that I studied in MJSP. Uh, I got to go to masters. I finally decided what I am going to do. Uh, things are very clear now and I think that the education that I received in the past four years and a half helped a lot with that. Over the four and a half years of MJSP I met a lot of great people, uh, studied a lot of great things and uh, learned a lot about Japan, about myself, uh, about the people around me and uh, I really 
recommend it to anybody who wants to come and give it a try. Many people might think that living in a foreign country is a problematic experience, but in spite of the snow, the life in Sapporo is really fun. So you can eat a lot of food. I love ramen, I love barbecue. So there are places that you can eat ramen, barbecue, gyoza all over the city. And the city itself is very pretty. I like to take pictures and you can find a lot of amazing places to take pictures, either in Sapporo and around Sapporo. There are no places to compare in Brazil because we don't have snow. That, we don't have that much of snow in Brazil, but it's an amazing place to be and I would like you to enjoy your experience if you can come, if you manage to come to. Um, after studying about Japan for four years and a half and after entering my master's course, I realized a lot of things that might be unnoticed about Brazilian society. I mean, when you are outside of your country, you can learn about a new country and see your country in more objective lens. If I happen to go back home to become a politician or someone that is engaged with trade between Brazil and Japan or Brazil and other countries, but always remembering to see, to, how can I say, to accept and understand other cultures. So my message to future MGSP students and prospective MGSP students is, there are going to be hard times, there are going to be easy times, but more than both of those, there are going to be fun times and you are going to have an amazing time both in Sapporo and in Japan. Let's give the opportunity. Um, I learned a lot, I made excellent friends here and I hope you can discover your Japan too.